you can see the monitor and stream is an international important aquatic product. Their annual production is about 30 billion US dollars. From the graph, you can see only stream in the world region is from in 1995 is about 1 million tons. Now it's about 5 million tons. So stream is a simple, important uh, market in seafood. Okay, so you can see, but how can we maintain the global stream aquaculture industry? Since the stream aquaculture will face the high turbid water, for example, shrimp farmers know the importance of aquaculture management, but how can they manage it in high turbid water? like this. In Chinese, there is a story talking several blinds. They, each one, they try to touch the elephant. They cannot see anything. Then someone touch the elephant nose. They say it's a snake. Then someone touch elephant foot. They say it's like a tree. Then someone touch the elephant tail, they say it's a rope. So that means aquaculture farmers or stream farmers, they cannot see the water due to the high turbidity. Another way is how good the phytoplankton in the stream pond is. It's also difficult to watch. For example, there is the tiger stream aquaculture farm. Do you know how many stream in this pond? It's very difficult to guess. See, more than 10 tiger stream in the stream pond, but farmer has no idea if they can give them the enough food or if the stream is unhealthy. So, so many questions farmers has to face. Then supply of the stream aquaculture, not just have the turbid water, they also, the stream production decline in some regions due to the disease. Then the disease may come in from unhealthy stream lava. When Aquaculture farmer bore the stream lava. They already contain some virus or bacteria. If you have the very good stream lava, then another issue is if you have the bad water quality, it's easy to trigger the stream have the bad health. So they will result in disease. Besides those reasons, another big issue is farmers has to face the extreme weather event, especially now. Okay, so in Taiwan's case, we used to pro export a lot of the tiger stream in before the 1990. Then in Taiwan, we have a white spot syndrome, then let the Taiwan tiger stream production rate decline quickly. Then after several years, we have the EHP, we have the another virus. So that means we need have a good approach to monitor the water quality and also stream's health. So however, E is a big challenge under turbid water. They are coming from two sides. One is the base organism. 
we know most of the aquaculture farmer, they put the stream lava in the pond in the beginning, then they never touch the button. So like after a period of the feeding, they will cause the high turbid water. So make the observation very difficult. Besides, no instant or real time information for understand how good your water is. And also how much food we need to give to them because stream always eat more food at night, not much food at daytime. So, but nighttime, most people or aquaculture farmers, we need to take a sleep. So that means people or aquaculture farmer and stream, their working style are reversed. So that means we need to have a system to help us do a long-term observation in turbid water. And another issue is the water quality monitor. When the aquaculture farmer face the bay stream behavior, they need to do it right away, not discharge water or stop the feeding. But we don't have the sufficient information to help farmers. So in this presentation, we need to use the water quality monitor to provide real-time information to farmers and also using the underwater camera to watch stream behavior and process the streams management. So in our campus, we have what we call smart stream pump prototype. In this about 60 square meter, we have the auto feeder, the control system can control the auto feeder to give stream and use the underwater camera. Then we have a pipe connect to the underwater camera. Then the camera can record the feed situation, send it to the server to tell you how much food still have in the trap. Then once the shrimp eat all the food, they can stop to keep in the food. Then after several minutes, shrimp take a rest, they can stop to keep in the food to eat. So we would like to use this, we call artificial intelligent technology to give them the enough food to eat. Also in this system, we have the water monitor sen sensor. We can monitor the pH, salinity, temperature, and dissolve oxygen. And this pump, oxygen is provided by the aerator. Then our aerator has the variable frequency aerator can produce the different amount of the oxygen to the stream pump. And once after a couple of months drilling, the organic matter and uneaten feed or stream feces we are accumulate in the bottom of the pump. So we can use the discharge system to discharge the organic matter through the pump, which can be controlled by our computer. So that means if we found the, the organic matter or dissolved oxygen or nutrient is too high, then we can discharge the water and refill the new water to the stream pump. Then now I'm going to show you some example. Here is the real time information of the stream image and water quality and facility status. 
For example, in the stream pump, the most important is the power. Without the power, without the air, that means the stream cannot survive after five minutes. So that means we need to have a system to show you all the status, including the video, water quality, weather, and also feeding information. And we also provide a stream size. And all these we call the IoT. And this is menu is set up at our campus. We have the AI aquaculture management system. So you can take this then to have all the monitor, real time monitor data, like the detection of the feed. Are they have provide then the stream the fee normally. Okay. And the stream detection later on I have the video showing this. And also we our student will check the stream size every week. How stream growth status and also all the hydrographic data you can use either computer or smartphone to watch your hydrographic data. Later on, I have the detailed information. And we also combine the weather information that we have the storm or typhoon or extreme weather event. You also can look your information or combine together. Then on the left hand side, this is all provide in, we call real time information. On the left hand side is the feed detection video. We know in the turbid water, the feed is difficult to look at. Then this is under IR mode, infrared IR mode. Then you can see the feed is not very clear. But after we use the default technology, you can see the enhanced video with some the stream period on the monitor. Then you also can see the fee detection video, see the individual feed. That's very clear. This is not a stream feces. So that means the stream did not eat all the feed. Then they continue to slowly to eat the feed. Then you also can see the the, the other monitor video. Here is the real time hydrographic data. For example, as I just mentioned, dissolved oxygen is most important for the shrimp or fish. Then based through the system, you can monitor the dissolved oxygen concentration and see what happened if the oxygen concentration, they have the lower than five, then our aerator will increase oxygen supply. Then the low pH means during the nighttime. Then in the early morning, the oxygen will increase due to the photosynthesis. So in other way, we can reduce the oxygen supply during the daytime. If the photosynthesis is good enough, then we may just can provide part of the power can save about one third of uh, about 23% of power. Then the water temperature, we also have the diurnal variation. You can see the water temperature and the pH value, okay especially during the, the monsoon season, the low pH raining water may significantly affect pond's pH. So we can use the artificial intelligence system to set up the pH at around A plus minus 0.2 or 0.3. Once the pH is lower than point six or point seven, we can provide them 
the fresh seawater. So that means the stream can survive and to avoid the icy water intrusion. The similar for the salinity. Salinity is very important, especially during the stream harvest time. We know the stream will produce amino acid when the salinity is higher. But if the salinity is higher, their growth rate is very slow. Then in the beginning or in the first rearing stage, we can lower the salinity. Then during the harvest period, we can increase the salinity, can increase their stream quality. Okay. Another sensor is we call oxidation reduction potential, which can tell you how good the button your pump is. So when the ORP is negative, that means aquaculture farmer need to be careful. Then if they all show the positive number, that means your button sediment is safe, especially for the some weak stream or crab, okay, or cream farmers. So you can use all the sensor to help us to watch your water quality. <clears throat> Here is an example about the AI image processing technology. For example, in this panel, you can see the fee only accounts 3%. In this panel, then this is a white shrimp's tail. Then during the low light, then we can default, then can see the image clearly. Like the pity occupy almost all the panels. So the percentage of the fee is 63%. That means they still have more food in the panel. So that means aquaculture farmer can save more feed. Then the stream haven't finished their eating. So we can stop to give them the food. Then the right panel is the stream eating the feed. So how long a stream eat the feed like us? If we eat a lunch bus or a dinner, how long it does a stream take? In the beginning, you can see the image is zero. We give them the food, then the food fill with the panel. Then after about <clears throat> six minutes, the panel is decreased. That means the full amount quickly decrease after about seven minutes. So that means the stream can eat the stream, the feed around seven to eight minutes. Here is the real-time underwater video system. You can see the stream move back and forth. The tiger stream are very healthy in the under the water and during the daytime okay they move back and forth try to take the the the, the food in the afternoon okay then on the right panel the green one means the green image showing current percentage of frame occupied by stream food so that's about 12%. Then the ray means the in the past five minutes, the food occupied by the stream food. So that means in past five minutes, it's about 17%. So you can easily look this, but now the problem is aquaculture farmer, they need to work on many things 
they don't have the time to watch the video. So in our system, we set up a threshold is about 20%. If the food is less than 20%, after five or 10 minutes, the automatic feeder will automatically give the food to the stream. If the feed is higher than 20%, then we stop feeding. So you can use the AI intelligence to assist them. farmers. Farmers, you don't need to look the monitor or your smartphone. And in some case, shrimp eat the food very normal like this. They can eat the shrimp pickup You can see the shrimp eating the food in normal situation. But some situation, the shrimp were not eating the food. They just pass through the system. See, the shrimp, I guess, got sick. They passing through the feed. They don't want to pick up the food. So that means the shrimp pond have some problem. They need to be deal with as soon as possible. And the easy way is to stop giving the food and maybe do some reaction. But as I, I know, in most of the aquaculture farm, you cannot see the, the water clearly. So that means when you made the problem, now it's too late. Since the stream is deep cold to, to heal using the me medicine. Okay, another case is abnormal. Abnormal, that means the feed did not be eaten. And you can see the dissolved oxygen is the green line they decrease quickly. That means the oxygen concentration is not horizontal. Then after we change the water, the oxygen concentration back to the normal. So it tells us we can watch the monitor, then the sensor, see all the dissolved oxygen center sensor. Now the oxygen concentration decrease. And also the image of the button image can provide evidence. See, um, there are many uneaten feet in the monitor. So we know the computer give you the image, say, oh, now in the button, there are some uneaten feet. So this one will reduce the dissolved organic matter then dissolve organic matter will consume the oxygen. And this is why oxygen decline, then have the uneaten feed in the monitor. Okay. So based on these two systems, one is the monitoring, the other one is the video. We can save more power. See, traditional aerator is about 22 kilowatts per hour. And using our variable frequency accelerator is only 14. So that means every month we can save about 30% of the power. Then why stream rear from traditional and AI method? What's the difference? Let's go to look the density is about, stocking density is about 150 and Traditional pump, another pump is about 200. Then you can see on average, the AI aquaculture can reach 28 to 30 grain per stream. Then our traditional is only 22 to 23. And also our AI culture day is about four months. Then our traditional 
can reach about almost five months. Then the size in the AI aquaculture is much bigger than in the traditional culture. Then every indicator have the similar performance for the AI aquaculture. See the growth rate is higher than traditional and survival rate is also higher. The ear production also higher. Only food conversion rate in AI aquaculture is much higher than traditional. So that means we still have the space to improve our AI aquaculture system. And if we compare our traditional culture, that means to the AI culture, you can see the cross means the FAO is about 1.13. Then our cross rate is about 1.6. So it's much higher. Then the FCR, the our AI is much higher. So this is not very good. So we are thinking approach to solve this high FCR and the yield in our AI aquaculture is much better than the traditional farm. Okay, also survival rate. This is the white stream after AI aquaculture. You can see the very good health stream. And also you can see the AI tiger stream aquaculture. They also produce excellent stream in both quality and quantity. And look, both uh, white stream, this is outdoor AI aquaculture. This is indoor traditional. Then the outdoor, as I just mentioned, during the harvest season yeah, period, we increase the high salinity, then they can have the very good color. But inside, they did not have very good color and almost same salinity. And I think this caused by the different phytoplankton species. Then also in the underwater video in the, at night, you also can use the IR mode to look the very clear, especially the mica. You can see their heptopenicremus is that can give you an early warning. If this one is not very shiny, that means the shrimp maybe is sick or too, vice, too much virus in the shrimp pond. So overall, our AI technology may increase food efficiency in the future and can maintain good water quality and also can automatically use discharge sewage organic matter feces and can provide early warning for shrimp health in pumps. And but as I say, FCR needs to be improved. Thank you very much.